Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all these goodies that I got from the zine fair. I actually went a few weeks ago now, I think it's been about a month since I went, and I got lots of goodies for all these amazing independent artists and I wanted to show you their incredible designs, stickers, stationery. Now I've actually mixed them all up because they all came in these brown paper bags so unfortunately I don't have them all nicely laid out and I can't remember whose was who but I will put all the links in the description box below of the artists that I can remember their names or that I have business cards of but a few of them I have mixed up so I am sorry if I have miss like if, if I can't remember the name of one or if I yeah don't don't have all the business cards here but I'll try my best to put the links in the description box below if you want to follow these people on Instagram or support them by buying their stuff now this was a really fun day and at the end of this video I've got footage of me going to the fair so stay tuned to the end of this video if you want to see the fair that was in Marrickville let's get started with the video and I'll show you through all the goodies so the first one here is from Furry Little Peach and you may already know her cute adorable little logo sticker here. She has quite a um, really authentic style and it's quite a unique style of hers so I'm going to be keeping the sticker and putting it in my journal for later. And her goodies are so cute. <laughs> Let me grab it all out. And everyone used paper bags. I don't know if that was a conscious choice that the everyone made or if the fair said that they didn't want any pl um, plastic bags, but I thought that was such a good idea. Oh, look. That's so cute. Have a peachy day. <laughs> and then it says, come find me, very little peach. Oh, I really like that. Very, very cute. That must have been a, like a little stamp that she made. Very little peach. So, what's this? She put all lots of little goodies in. So, there's a little how-to tip So, for the iron-on patches. So, that's really adorable that she's made her own little card. She's also included this cute postcard. Oh, and it's got a little um, written note. Thank you for the support. Keep shining. She's so cute. I love her designs. I was following her on Instagram and I saw that she'd created some new stickers that I absolutely wanted. I just thought they were so cute. Look at this one with his little face. <laughs> They've all got little faces. And she's even got a sticker. I think it's like a little business card sticker. And then she gave me these ones for free. Which I thought was so kind. I don't even know if she knows that I've been following her on Instagram. I didn't even say anything. And she put these in for me for free. So I thought that was so lovely. So thank you so much for giving me those goodies. I can't even remember what this is. I bought them a month ago and I haven't opened it yet. So this is the artist's name here. And she actually has a YouTube channel. So I'll link her YouTube and her Instagram in the description box below. She's also... I think everyone here is actually a Sydney artist because it was a Sydney zine fair and the reason I got this was because I just really liked the aesthetic and I thought it was really cool so I don't know if she collected these, she must have collected these either from all around the world or maybe it was someone else's collection and then she's created a zine out of it so I thought it was such a lovely idea and as you guys know I like collecting things from independent artists so this will go in my little mini zine collection so thank you and there is her details again oh there's a bit of focus if you would like to follow her also if you're wondering um, I said earlier this year that I wasn't going to buy any more stationery and that this was all the stationery I was purchasing for the entire year when I did my yearly stationery haul and then I went to the zine fair and bought more stuff. <laughs> so I know I did buy this a while ago but I did not make it through the year. <laughs> 
So let me just explain, and I'm going to insert a little clip here. I actually went up to this little stand to get these three little stickers, and then they had a little gadget pong machine, and I had to play it because I haven't played one since I was in Japan. And I got this little ticket, which I thought was really cute, and they stamped it for me. This is going in my journal. And then I won this little guy, so I thought this was so nice. So I'll insert the clip now, and then we'll get back into the video. This is so cool, where'd you get this? Uh, in Japan. Oh really? Do I just keep spinning? Keep going. Ah! That's so cool. Yeah, I'm trying to do it one-handed. <laughs> ah! Okay. Suspense. The suspense. Tokyo Town Mini Zine. Oh, that's so cool! So, oh my goodness, thank you so much! And you get to keep this. I'll so I haven't even had a look at this little zine yet, just because it was one in the gachapon. But I'm pretty sure it's just illustrations of Tokyo. Very cute. So here are... Oops, can something in focus? Can you see that? There's the links, I mean the... Um, website and the tag, the what's it called? Instagram handle. Oh no, that's another website. Never mind. That's just the details, but I'll have the details in the description box below. These st stickers are adorable and they're really good quality. So, this was actually the first purchase I made because I absolutely adore her style. Now, let me just put these aside. So, the first one, oh, actually, no, I think I'm mixing two artists together right now. Oh, because I think I bought this one with one of these prints. I think I bought these two together and then these two separately. Oh, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I told you I was going to do this. Um, I'm pretty sure these two were one artist and those three were another artist. But, yeah, again, sorry. I can't remember. So, let me see if I can open this one up for you. Oh, I didn't want to rip this paper. Okay, so this one's definitely <laughs> this artist here. So I've got the business card. Is that the same? Ashley. Oh no, that's Anna. No, that's not her. All right, so this is definitely this artist. And oops, it's stuck back down. I just adore this. This is so cute. I'm going to actually frame this one and put it on my wall. And then I thought this was adorable. Oh, okay. So I think these are the same. Yep. These two are the same artist. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> Go me. <laughs> so this is the little zine that she created. Miyajima. I actually went here. This was such a beautiful town. Highly recommend it. I went to Nara. I haven't been to this place. Uh, Kyoto, definitely, Osaka, Tokyo, Hiroshima, and Miyagi. Very, very cute. I adore this so much. Very, very lovely. Okay, so those two are from that artist, and I'm pretty sure these two were from a different artist. So this one's a little zine about her adventures going around South Korea in 2018 and again this is just adorable so it's got little maps on this side this is beautiful watercolor illustrations it's kind of like a little travel guide oh we <laughs> this so much. I'm going to have to go through and actually read this properly because I haven't actually read it um, through yet. Cat Cafe, beautiful designs of food, Tea House, Nami Island, or if I ever go to South Korea, this is definitely South Korea, South Korea, 
I'll have a beautiful travel guide now. Oh, I love it. Very, very cute. Oh, look at this illustration on the back. Love it. All right. And I'm pretty sure this was from, yeah, this is definitely from the same, same artist. And I think this one might have been too. Yeah, these are all from the same artist. Yes, I got it right. I thought I'd screw this up. <laughs> Let me just check if there's anything else left in this bag. No. How cute. Love, love, love. All right. What was next? Now, I think these and this one, but I'm not too sure, is from the same artist. So let me see if there's a... No, there's no note on the back. But it is a beautiful print that I'm going to frame as well, I think. We've got a little egg on her chest, a little traveller's notebook, Polaroid, I love it. And I think this was her card, <laughs> which I also adore. <laughs> and it says, thank you. <laughs> so I love that one. And I'm not 100% sure if this was from her as well, but um, I'm, I apologize in advance. The links will all be in the description box below. This is so cute. This was definitely not from her. This was from a, definitely another girl. I think this was from this artist here. So I think these ones match up. And then that one is just one artist separately. And what this is, yeah, this is from another girl. Because I remember what she did. She had all these beautiful illustrations of these unique, um, what's it called? children's uh, playgrounds and she illustrated them beautifully and she also had like little sculptures of them as well so she'd sculpted them watercolored them and also had a little zine and I thought they were so lovely and I'm going to be putting these ones in my journal and yeah I really like her style so I don't even know if this one's the artist, but if I can find the artist's name for you, I'll let you know. But at the end of this video, I, as I said, I'll have the footage. So if the footage was in, if the artist was in that footage, then I can let you know too. But I really liked her style. This is just really unique. And the stickers are so cute. So this was the next illustrator's table that I went to. And I am obsessed with her cute, adorable, stationary stickers and this little book. small book of small joys. I'm not going to read it out to you, but I'll just do a quick flip through. <laughs> this one is so friendly. Oh, I love this so much. I think this has to be one of my favourite scenes that I have in my collection. And then we've got these adorable stickers. I'm not going to open them up because I'm going to be using them in one of my stationery. I mean, sorry, one of my snail mail themed videos. So I'll use those ones soon in a video that I make later. So you can see me using them then or even throughout my journal with me videos and things like that. Very, very cute. I recommend you go check her out and follow her on Instagram. She has the cutest style. I was trying to figure out who this business card belonged to and I put the wrong business card in a different bag but it belonged to this lovely lady's designs. Now I also got one of her postcards which I thought was very very cute and it one of these notebooks so it's lots of test prints so I just wanted to use like get one of these to rip out and use throughout my crafting. I thought it has some really unique bits of paper here that I can use um, when I create little snail mail packages and I can also rip out or even detach it here in the center and even give some of these pages away. But I just really liked the pages and all the illustrations and thought it was really cool and textural. So I can use that throughout my journaling and also throughout my snail mail packages. And then this one here was just really, really cute. I love the designs. It was so unique. And the colour palette throughout this is just so vibrant and different. And of course, I really like this, <laughs> this one here. But yeah, 
it's a really really cool sticker set that it's quite different to a lot of the designs that you usually see so that's why I got it so that was the last artist there so please let me know in the description box below who which artists you really loved we've got this really cute theme here we've got these beautiful um, watercolor ones also these beautiful watercolor ones here with the beautiful travel zine we've also got these really random ones here with all the cute Japan stickers also this completely random one here with what is it? I, I, I thought it was a stamp collection, but looking through it, it's not. <laughs> but that one's quite unique. Also, of course, we've got Furry Little Peaches designs, which I absolutely adore. And then these really random um, playgrounds that I only liked these ones because of the beautiful colour palettes that she used. If she used probably any other colour palette, they probably wouldn't be as um, interesting, I think. And then obviously this one here, which <laughs> it's so cute and I'm going to frame. So yeah, let me know what your favourite was, what you really liked, who you want to start following on social media. And yeah, I'll show you the scene fair now and I'll put in that, that footage in for you. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you got some inspiration from some ideas and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.